Hey guys, welcome back to the Weekday Nights with Jamelin H. So first things first, I'm going to thank Dermacol Philippines for sending me this package. I'm so excited for this. I really, really do want to try them out. Alright, so this is the Dermacol Ultra Tech Mascara. This looks fancy though. And these two are the Invisible Fixing Powder. They gave me two shades, natural and light. Basically, natural is a bit too dark for me. Light is just fine. Alright, so this is the light and this is the natural. Natural is a bit too dark for me, so I'm not going to use that. So this one is the light one, perfect for baking. It says it is awarded by the Association of Jacques Makeup Artists. Is it really though? Anyways, they also gave me these two uh, foundations. This is the two-in-one caviar in the shade Nude. Honestly, this one has the same idea as the La Prairie caviar foundation. Like, it has the same bottle, like cylindrical bottle. And then there's like foundation at the bottom and concealer at the top. That's the original Dermacol Caviar Foundation. This is just a sample that was given to me. Same as the La Prairie. So that's why I really, really want to try this one out. So I asked Dermacol Philippines if they have like samples because I really do want to try caviar before buying it to make sure that it's actually really worth it. This is basically the Caviar Long Stay Makeup and Corrector. They have four shades. First is pale and then fair and then nude and then tan. This one that I got right here is nude. It has like, what? how many benefits? <laughs> Alright, so here it says 2-in-1 makeup and corrector for all skin type. The coverage is high coverage. Volume is 30ml. I'm not sure about the La Prairie um, Caviar Foundation if how many grams or ml it is. But this one, it has like 30ml. It says the perfect concealer will brighten the area around your eyes while covering any skin discoloration. The firming foundation with caviar extract evens your skin tone and make it smooth. It has a light velvety consistency and a long-lasting covering effect. It deeply moisturizes and nourishes and protects your skin all day long. Yes. So basically, this caviar long-stay makeup corrector cost... 1,150 pesos. This invisible fixing powder costs 1,100 pesos. They have two shades, light and natural only. And this mascara costs for like 800 pesos. This episode is going to be a two days, three nights episode. Tomorrow, I'm going to be reviewing this Dermacol Intense Makeup Cover. And then the day after tomorrow, we're going to try this Caviar 2-in-1 um foundation slash concealer and then we're also going to do some check-ins from time to time but then tonight we're going to compare these two products right here right now applying it and everything and all that jazz this side will be the intense makeup cover and then this side will be the caviar foundation so you guys can see the difference between the two all right so without further ado let's get into the video all right, so before anything else, we want to keep our face hydrated. So I'm going to be using this um, facial spray from Evian. And then spray it all over your face. We want to let it dry a little bit before putting our makeup base. This is probably good. So for the makeup base, I'm going to be using this Guerlain makeup base. You massage it all over. All right, right after all that jazz, you want to start putting this side will be the Dermacol makeup cover. This is the most intense coverage foundation. And then on the other side, we're going to put this caviar foundation. I'm not sure about this shade though. This is in the shade nude. And this is the only shade that they gave me, so I don't know if it will match the color of my skin tone, basically. So, we're gonna deal with that later. This might be good, though. On the other side, we're gonna be using the 218 for the T-zone. And again, you don't need too much. Just a tiny bit will do. 
and then just put it in the areas where you want the most highlight and for the shade 222 that's gonna be a bit darker for my skin tone this is where I put it on contour areas like so using a damp beauty blender we're gonna blend that wow honestly i love this caviar foundation like it's really natural looking it's not that thick but it is also a good coverage foundation and i really like the color it's in the shade nude and it's actually perfect this shade is actually perfect i loved it anyways we're gonna blend this side and see the difference between the two this one is definitely much thicker I honestly love both foundations you know this one is super 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 high coverage this one just enough coverage to cover all the flaws that you've got on your face all right, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This one is the Dermacol Makeup Cover Intense Coverage. And this one is the Caviar Foundation. You can already tell the difference between the two. As you can see, this one dries out matte. This one doesn't. This is a bit dewy. All right, we're going to test this one out. And then blot it in a tissue. As you can see, this is a clean one. Let's blot it off. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, we're going to try and blot this side. And see how it looks like. Yes. There is some foundation going on. This is the Dermacol Makeup Cover. As you can see, let's try it again on this side. This is a clean tissue. And then we're going to try and blot it. None. Well, basically, this side, this Dermacol Intense Makeup Cover, you actually need to like set it off with a powder. So basically, we're going to do that on both sides sides well this one you don't really need to set it off with a loose powder or translucent powder but we're gonna do it anyways this caviar foundation is perfect for everyday use like daily use going to work going to school running errands because girl you don't really have time to like set your face off with a loose powder moving on to the invisible fixing powder this is basically how it looks like i'm gonna try and open this one up all right so there's a puff really cute puff really puffy so there's like a plastic sticker going on yeah I'm gonna <laughs> this puff is not working but we're gonna try it out anyways all right fuck it fuck it no i can't i can't usually i'm not really a fan of baking because i don't know how to do that and usually, I just smudge it off like so. It dries out matte anyway, so no big deal. So this is basically how it looks like. To be honest, I love it. <laughs> Honestly, like, I love this invisible fixing powder. I wasn't expecting it to be like, wow. It is amazing. <laughs> it is really amazing though. I love it. Thank you, Dermacol, for hooking me up. Honestly. So we are going to move on to um, this Mascara Ultra Tech Perfect Hold and Length and Defined Lashes. This is also from the Dermacol Philippines. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> what? 
I'm so shocked. Guys, can you see that? I have fucking monolids and this lashes. Oh my god. Can you compare this side and this side? It's gorgeous. See? Very instant. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this. Oh my god. Holy. I have monolids and these lashes are long. Alright, so I'm just going to finish off my makeup and get back to you in a little bit. This is the finished product. Oh my god, I love it. Like, can you see the difference, to be honest? I don't. I honestly don't see the difference between the two products. And I love it. This side is basically the um, intense makeup cover. And this side is the caviar foundation. I could not believe na asin sobrang bongga na foundation na to. I couldn't. Like, pati itong fixing powder, hindi ko talaga in-expect. As in, para akong pupunta ng wedding. Although, hindi naman ako yung bride. Sobrang blooming, sobrang pack na pack, sobrang, alam mo yun, how? Everything is gorgeous. Caviar, makeup cover, fixing powder. Everything is perfect as for the moment, but I'm gonna be having some check-ins by tomorrow and then the day after tomorrow. And then again, this episode is a two days, three nights episode. So this is gonna be a long one. Tomorrow I'm gonna be using this intense makeup cover and then the day after tomorrow I'm gonna be using this caviar foundation. I'm gonna do some check-ins from time to time, like after a couple of hours. I'm also gonna do some check-ins with this invisible fixing powder on top of the foundation. Pak. Na pak. Hey guys, just checking in. It's currently 7.35 and I just finished doing my makeup. Same way that I did last night. <laughs> I'm too early for this. Basically today we're using this Dermacol Intense Makeup Cover, the most intense foundation in the market that we all know of. And on top of that, I use this invisible fixing powder. You have to set this one off with translucent powder or invisible fixing powder also from Dermacol. So it will set on your face. If not, it's gonna get oily and it will go everywhere, even your clothes. So you have to make sure you're good with your foundation. All right, so that's it. We're gonna do some check-ins in a little bit. So probably after three to four hours. So yeah, just checking in. It's currently 12 noon. It's been five hours and I haven't blot even once. So zooming you guys in, there's like a tiny bit of oil going on right there. I'm gonna use a tissue and blot my face off with this. So it is a clean tissue as you can see. So there is some foundation on the tissue as you can see but it's not as much as when you don't set your face off to be honest. Setting your face off is really important. So far it is holding still. So I have to cut this video short because I lost all of the clips and I have to like recover them last night. But unfortunately some videos couldn't make it and I'm truly sorry that the caviar foundation review is not re- <laughs> I'm truly sorry that the caviar foundation review was not recovered and you guys couldn't see it So I'm just gonna tell you guys how it worked on me I currently have this caviar foundation on and it dries out matte So you don't basically need to like set it off with translucent powder But I did just so we can compare the two Just like any other foundation it gets oily after some time But not like the regular foundation that you have to like blot it once in a while for 11 hours I only blot my face off once with a tissue, so it's actually not bad This foundation is perfect for daily use especially when you're in a no makeup makeup mood Very lightweight, but good coverage all in all I love both foundations for different uses this one this film studio is good for when you want that thick high coverage foundation and this caviar foundation is perfect when you need that lightweight everyday natural look 
So yep, that's my review for both foundations and these two are a must-have in your vanity. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my socials. I hope you guys enjoy. See you on my next video. Bye!